fucking do this. Hey Josh. Hey Colin, what's up man? Ah, uh, you know, uh, not much. Uh, hey, what about you? I haven't heard from you lately. What's going on? Yeah, I've just been playing, you know, this Mega Soul 5 Phantom Pain. I mean, it's, it's a fucking amazing game, dude. You, you have to try it. Like, I, I just can't stop playing it. I played uh, almost 200 hours into the game. It's just this is a fucking amazing game, dude. 200 hours? That... Dude, that's not healthy, man. I mean, are you eating? Are you sleeping? Dude, like, trust me, once you pick up the game, you're gonna be like, holy shit. Like, like, like me, like, when, once I... Once I put the game in, like, I, I... I cannot stop playing it. Like, seriously. <laughs> I mean, come on. It can't be that good. I mean, I'm sure it's good, but it's not... That good. Don't you say that. But yeah, seriously, check it out. It's a really good game. I'm surprised at how good it is. So yeah, you should check it out. Xbox on. Okay, let's see what all the fuss is about. Hey Scourge. Oh, hey Tim. Listen, I have a, a favour to ask. Yeah? Yeah, well, what is it? Can I, like, um, you know, it's just an idea. Um, can I just, like, borrow, and you can shoot me down in flames on this one. Um, can I, uh, borrow your dad's car? Okay. Really? Uh-huh. Are you, like, doing alright? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I've just been, like, a little wrapped up with some things. Some important stuff. Not some major. Uh, yeah, alright. Cheers, bro. Okay, um, mate. Yep, I have yeah, a good time. Okay. Bye. Okay, okay, bye. Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain is an open-world third-person stealth action game developed by Kojima Productions and published by Konami Digital Entertainment. I grew up playing Metal Gear games, and this is easily my most anticipated one yet. Nine years after the events of Ground Zeroes, Big Boss wakes up from his coma. After being helped to escape from the hospital by Ocelot, he goes to Afghanistan to rescue Kaz Miller, rebel Mother Base, and take revenge on Cypher and Skullface. Say more would be a spoiler, and all I can really say is that I found the story very interesting and full of plot twists, both believable and not. Unlike the other games, the cutscenes are shorter and more accessible than before, and the codec calls have been replaced by cassette tapes that can be played while exploring the battlefield. This way, the gameplay is never broken and you can enjoy a better look at what happens. If you are new to the franchise, 
you will understand Jack. However, the story isn't shoved down your throat like in Guns of the Patriots, and you can just as easily skip the cutscenes if you don't care. The Fox engine really is sublime. Even at the lowest settings, every facial animation, every little detail in the open world is beautiful, and everything runs at a sweet 60 frames per second at high resolutions. Even though it is an open world game, the world is still full of details and secrets to discover, as well as varied locations. You will infiltrate power plants, villages, highly guarded camps, and bridges. The game is gorgeous, and you don't even need a great PC to enjoy it. First of all, the combat. You have tons of possibilities to handle each situation. Going guns blazing with rifles and rocket launchers, snipe from afar, call air support, hold everyone up at gunpoint, the choice is yours and you are not punished for going on a killing spree, but even more so if you don't kill anyone and avoid detection. You can also call in four buddies to help you out. D-Horse, to move fast and undetected. D-Dog, to distract enemies and detect plants and wildlife. Quiet, to scout environments and snipe. And D-Walker, to attack outposts when violence is needed. Each one of them is important, and simply changing buddies changes how you play a mission or side up altogether. Each mission is unique and has relevant bits of story that unlock at the end, and the side ops are varied and seemingly unlimited. Extract prisoners, destroy heavy infantry, find blueprints, capture animals, and so on. Every mission feels relevant, and not to put in a just feel void, something that most open world games do nowadays. You can also develop Mother Base, where the soldiers that you extract go to develop new weapons, items, and outfits. You can also deploy combat units to complete some missions to get more currency and items. You can also explore Mother Base to increase morale, take a shower, <laughs> find album parts and diamonds, and complete target practice. You can also customize weapons in every single part, after finding the legendary gunsmith. Your buddies, your helicopter, and your vehicles, to say a few. I just love the amount of detail and depth that is put in the gameplay, making this the most accessible and complete gameplay in a Metal Gear game ever. The more you play the game, the smarter the enemies become. You like headshots? They will start wearing helmets to protect themselves. You enjoy lurking in the night? They will use night vision goggles. The fact that the enemy adapts to your strategy makes every encounter challenging and fresh, and even though your health regenerates, you can't stand behind cover because they will throw grenades or send shielded enemies to kill you for example. However, you have enough firepower and possibilities to defeat these enemies and escape when everything goes south, making everything more enjoyable rather than frustrating. The voice acting is superb. Like it or not, Kiefer Sutherland is very good as Big Boss, even though he mostly just talks in the cassette tapes and Robin Atkin Downs, Troy Baker, and another set of voice actors do a fantastic job as always. The sound effects are also brilliant, with each gun and footstep never feeling out of place. And the soundtrack. I love this soundtrack. Listening to Take On Me while infiltrating a camp, having the final countdown playing while you are riding your horse with bullets flying all around you, or just some of the great memories that the music in the game helps enhance. You can also add your own music, which is always a nice touch. Tons of missions, 42 achievements, the newly added multiplayer feature, and the FOBs make this a game you will play for at least over 100 hours. Overall, this is one of the most enjoyable open world games I've ever played. If you love the Metal Gear games, you will have a ton of fun with the excellent gameplay and multiple possibilities to complete missions. 
Even though the story isn't as strong as the other games, it still is very much interesting and it ties many loose ends. If you like open world games, third person shooters, stealth games, and Metal Gear, this is a must buy. Thank you Kojima for changing mine and many other gamers lives.